Okay, let's do a gym tour for 2019. This is November 9th. So I finally found a place where I finally could uh, set my reverse hyper up and leave it up instead of tearing it down and, and uh, resetting it up. It is supposed to be portable, but I don't really like to use the portable. Here's Bob the sled, which I haven't been using much lately, but I should get back to that. Okay, I got my 45 degree Roman chair back extension machine here and that uh, that was one of the original pieces I bought I also replaced that filthy carpet on my floor with uh, horse stall mats Wow what a difference great difference so uh, not having to put my reverse hyper away gave me place to store my steps uh, my step up steps or whatever the plyo boxes there you go my rogue utility bench that I use sometimes I'll bench inside my rack over here that I have uh, and uh, more, most of the time, right now, I've been benching on my regular bench. It's a bench that I bought off of uh, Craigslist when I first put my home gym together. And it's actually a pretty good little bench, you know. So, uh, you know, I did, uh, did uh, bolt it down to the ground, and, uh, but it's served me well. Um, yeah, really enjoy using it. Um, have a couple of plate racks over here, you know, plate trees, I guess they're really called. Uh, one here for my bench, and then one over here for my for ex, uh, my like uh, change plates for my squat rack. And uh, for some reason, I thought I'd buy uh, bumper plates, even though I don't really do any Olympic lifting or any really like slamming of weights. I just thought they were cool, so I bought a I bought a couple of pairs of uh, those. And then I have uh, my leg press machine, my infamous leg press machine. This is such a great machine. Um, it's so versatile for uh, different kinds of leg presses with the two different leg positions and the fact that I can turn around and do those kickbacks for my uh, hip has really helped. And then um, my wife and I bought this uh, Bowflex man back when we first moved here. And so this Bowflex is, is really, really old. I think we bought this probably sometime in the 90s, you know, in the mid 90s, I would even think. And because uh, we moved here in 1993 and I think we bought it, you know, pretty soon after that. Not not too much after that. So I've had that for quite a while and that's a pretty handy little machine for um, the leg extension. The leg curl are really smooth. Um, it's good for like shoulder cable work and it's good for chest cable work. I can do uh, push downs and pull downs, lat pull downs with it, but um, they don't work that great with this. So uh, I've never um, really felt them to be uh, super efficient for that but um, the leg extension and the leg curl are really really smooth as is if you want to do some like cable uh, deltoid work and stuff like that either from the low position or from a high position you can do them that way yeah so I uh, got my fans got one over here one over here and then where the music comes from is back over here on my little uh, table over here I have a little CD player and I got a bunch of CDs in that little green box over there, back over there. And I have some regular CDs, and I have a bunch that I burned by using an MP3 converter off of uh, that takes songs off of YouTube and just converts them to MP3. And I just burned the CD. Yeah, yeah. So that's where the music comes from. I got my little temperature gauge over there on there. And then my most recent thing, of course, is my whiteboard, which I really enjoy. I think that's a was a good addition. I can just look up at the wall and see what I need to do. I do have my book that I uh, put everything in and I have an Excel spreadsheet that everything goes in I I have a lot of stuff that I track and stuff like that so got another little whiteboard over there that I do when I do my rants so yeah all right so I might as well just go over to the whiteboard right now and let's talk about this week this week Sunday box squats um, the top the top three sets I forgot to add a zero to one of those definitely not doing 16 pounds 160 there that gets raised the two bot the two low sets don't get bumped this week uh, the three top sets get bumped there my uh, gray wolf split squats single leg press move that down to a low foot position get more quad feeling that um, my reverse hypers and my single leg extensions Monday's upper body staying with those weights for a while uh, the 25 is pretty heavy for the side laterals for, for rear laterals it's not a problem I can I could probably go up to 40s actually on rear laterals, but I'm trying to do really concentrated, hit the rear delts hard on that. Bench press, uh, everything stays the same till I hit 185, so I'm going to go 184 this week. 
and then uh, my four sets of row, I'm going to start bumping those last two sets up. I'm going to get a 10 pound spread and then I'll start bumping everything. Um, incline bench press, everything goes up two and a half pounds for my three sets there. My eights on pull ups, I'll finish this day and I'm dropping the weight back down to 27.5 but upping the reps to 10. And how I run this dumbbell uh, progression is I start with, uh, started with 10 reps at 25 pounds and then went eight reps at 27.5 and then went six at 30. Then I'm dropping back down to 27, I'm going to go 10 at 27, I'll go 8 at, at uh, 30, I'll go 6 at 32, I'll drop back down to 30, I'll go 10 at 30, 8 at 32, 6 at 35, so forth and so on until I peak out. So, you know, um, that's the way I'm trying to, uh, you know, progress on the dumbbell work. Wednesday's my RDL day. Um, everything goes up five pounds, 25 pounds spread all the way across on that. I'm now gonna move box squats right after that so that way I, don't, I can just go right and stay right in the rack and, and continue in the top sets are gonna start to get a little bit heavier. So um, might as well do them all fresh and that's okay. And that'll put a little bit more um, emphasis on this uh, isolation work at the end and make this a little bit more challenging, which is uh, fine because I'm looking for muscle growth, especially my left leg is starting to see changes. I'm seeing changes in it. That's good. Again, my reverse hypers always after squatting. Again, my single leg extensions for a couple sets. And then uh, Friday is my incline bench press day, but I start with my upright rows, rear delt rows. And again, I'm, I'm really enjoying these two moves. I'm really feeling my, the pump bet much more than I do when I do up when I do lateral raises um, uh, the three top sets get uh, bumped this week 2.5 pounds up to 112 127 147 I actually kind of blew my weights last week uh, my second set was supposed to be 110 and I ran it at 107 so I'm making the adjustment to what's being correct this week four sets of eight here or if I can get nines that would be great um, everything goes up five pounds here and everything goes up five pounds here or oh, actually two and a half pounds on this, but five pounds up here. And then my uh, prison card game to finish off the week. Yeah, and last week, ooh, when I get those high rep sets, woohoo, later on in the, in the day after my workout, I get some serious, I, I get some like spasms in my triceps and stuff. It's very interesting. So it's those high rep sets that are doing that. I know that because usually I don't get that uh, reaction when I run sets that are under 10. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.